welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another monthly meal prep. I have been doing these pretty consistently around every two weeks um, for the last little while and it's been so great for me because I've gotten so much stuff prepped and it just saves me so much time um, other times whenever we need food and lunches and breakfast and I just do a big range of all kinds of things. If you're new around here, like I said, I do this uh, style video about every two weeks and give you a lot of great ideas. Also, if I have recipes that I've found on Pinterest or whatnot, I will leave them linked below. If not, I try to give you all the measurements in the video and just explain how I do everything to the best of my ability. You can figure out whatever rhythm works best for you. Every two weeks around there is what works best for me for a couple reasons One of them is that my freezer is a little on the smaller side back here One other thing I wanted to mention that I am doing is I've put all of my monthly meal prep videos into a playlist And I will leave the link for that below as well So I'm not gonna go into much more detail just because we can get rolling. I've got a lot to make today I'm excited about some of the things that I'm making and let's get started All right So the first thing I like to do is get my kitchen all cleaned up and ready to go and I also like to have my dishwasher empty so I can be putting dirty things in there as I clean because I really do set aside the day to do this or the afternoon to do this. I like to do it during the time that my daughters take their naps. So here is my clean kitchen. I like to end with a clean kitchen, although it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes I go to bed and clean the rest of it up in the morning. So I just want to let you know there's a little real life. It's not always perfect. I got my coffee to get me rolling and I also wanted to mention I just got this rug and I will leave a link below for it because anytime I get something new around here You guys notice and you ask for it. So other than that, let's get going The first thing we're gonna do is make some twice baked potatoes I'm so excited about these because they're an easy side that you know on a busy day I can just make up some grilled chicken pull these out of the freezer throw them in the oven And they're all ready to go with all of the yummy toppings and stuff like that I've never done anything like this before, so I'm so curious to see how it turns out. So I needed five pounds of baked potatoes, and I thought about trying to get smaller potatoes, but one thing to keep in mind with the smaller potatoes is their skin is not thick enough for you to scoop the inside out and then refill them. You'll see, if you've never seen a twice baked potato, you'll understand why you need it with a little bit thicker skin. So I'm gonna wash these up and then get them in the oven because they will have to bake for about an hour. And I always like to get my oven going and then work on my stovetop stuff. Then along with that, you could do bacon, you could do a lot of, you could do sausage, you could do really anything you wanted to as far as a protein or a meat in this. But I picked up these roasted red pepper and I think that's queso fresco, I think I'm saying that right. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm going to dice this up and just put it in the frying pan with a little bit of butter just to kind of cook them up and get them ready to go in the inside mixture of these. One other thing I want to mention super quick is I am using my Norwex fruit and veggie cloth. It's like a little bit scratchy and you can just easily wash up your potatoes like that. I love this because I can just throw it in the washer then and I'm not wasting anything and um, it's really easy to clean.
right, the next step I'm doing is I'm going to be making some French toast sticks. I have never made these and done them in the freezer. And you guys, if you watch often, know that we've done waffles and pancakes and those sorts of things. But the girls are kind of wanting a little change, which is fine. And I do a lot of stuff gluten-free. I've been getting some comments on why I do some things gluten-free. Well, one reason is that my husband does have a pretty big sensitivity to gluten and it does bother him. So I try to make things that it would be okay if he ate it. And then um, the second reason is just because I tend to try to use things like almond flour or coconut flour because it's less refined than regular flour. So just for the fact that that is a little bit healthier, it's not um, run through the same process that normal flour is and so on and so on. So you can do your own research on it, but it's just my choice and what I like to do. But today we are doing a few things that are going to have regular flour. It's a good balance in life. So one thing that's really good to use for French toast is potato bread. And you can pretty much find this anywhere. And so all I'm going to do is put some eggs in here, put a splash of half and half. You could use heavy cream, you could use regular milk, um, whatever you have on hand would work fine and then as I fry them I'm going to shake a little cinnamon on once they're all fried up I will um, cut them with a pizza cutter into strips and then lay them out and flash freeze them before I put them in a bag so that we can just heat them as we need them Okay, got this all rolling. Just wanted to make a few mentions. So this frying pan is awesome. It's from Amazon and it's called Blue Diamond. If you're looking for a frying pan that is non-toxic, this thing's amazing. I've had it for I think over six months now and it's really done a great job. It's stayed non-stick. You can even use like metal utensils on it. And on top of all that, it's a super inexpensive frying pan. So definitely recommend it. I want to get more of their cookware. I just haven't yet. And then also this little whisk is my favorite kitchen tool. I use it for everything and it whisks stuff up really quickly and does a good job at like beating eggs. So that's all going over there. And then over here, I have got some things pulled out because I'm going to try and make some mini pizzas to put in the refrigerator, probably more like pizza bite size. I've got these like pastry co cookie cutters and I'm gonna use them. Um, what I'm gonna do is do this as a little trial. Uh, I got mini pepperonis as well. So I did get pre-made pizza dough because you could easily do this. If my daughters really like this concept of eating a little pizza or a couple of them for lunch, um, I think the next time I make these, I may try making a gluten-free pizza crust just to try it out. And also it might be something my husband would like then too. So today I'm just using this. I got it at Target. It's actually rolled up in there already. So I think I just have to roll it out, cut them out, and then probably like squish the dough together and possibly roll the dough back out, cut out some more. And I'll just make as many of those this pizza crust will make for me today. And then I'm thinking I can go from here and make it healthier. <laughs>
I'm gonna whip up a really easy uh, small batch of some freezer jelly or freezer jam. Uh, I do like to hang on the side of not using as much sugar. So this recipe uses no sugar and you use a little bit of juice. Uh, in the recipe, she uses a masher, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna stick my immersion blender in a few times to smush up the berries, and you can watch me do the rest. Okay, I mixed up the oatmeal because I'm going to be making some frozen oatmeal cups. I will show you more about that in just a second. But while the oatmeal is cooling and getting thicker, I'm actually going to whip up some no-bake carrot bars. I've never made these before, but they look really great. They're super healthy. I will definitely leave the link below. I'm gonna shred up the carrot um, that goes in it. And then I have the other ingredients here. Gonna mix it all up, put it in a pan, put it in the refrigerator and let it kind of set up. And then it gets a cream cheese frosting on top of it. You better turn up. I put the bar part of those bars in the refrigerator to harden and then um, I will be doing a frosting for it. So I cooked up this oatmeal and I'm gonna be putting them into these cups and then putting toppings on them, putting it all in the freezer and letting them get hard, then just popping them out, putting each frozen cup into a bag. And then all I have to do in the morning is pull it out, stick the frozen cup 
into the a bowl and heat it up really quickly and it's a super fast healthy way to do like quick oatmeal um, instead of the packets so this is a more healthy option you can use fresh fruit and also not use sugar or you can use an alternative sweetener so I've got some shredded coconut some like slivered almonds I've got some berries that I'm gonna top all of these with I don't know if I'll have to do this maybe twice depending on how much these fill up here I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I should ever let you go mm -hmm. I don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me don't wanna wake up Till I was done doing all of this, my feet were so sore, but it was so worth it. And I wanted to mention, in case you didn't know, that I do a lot of things in Ziploc bags. So I'll flash freeze things and then put them in Ziploc bags so that I can easily pull them out and just grab out what I need. Or if I'm doing something that's liquid, like soup or something like that, I will put it into a Ziploc bag so I can throw it in hot water and thaw it out really quickly. It's just my convenience to do something like that you could so use reusable containers and things like that but I just really prefer using a Ziploc bag and by the way the potatoes were definitely the winner of this day for sure they were so delicious my whole entire family loved them I thought they were really good so I highly recommend them especially because they're kind of a little bit more work to make in the beginning but if you have them in the freezer and you can use them for multiple meals meals they'll feel like you're eating something really special that didn't take a lot of work for every single meal anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it was inspiring to you if you're new here i'd love it if you subscribed join my channel i do a lot of homemaking content cooking cleaning mom life all of that stuff and i just want to spread positivity and hope that that's what you find here also don't forget to give this video a like leave me a comment in the comment section i love reading them and responding to the ones that i can and i'll see you guys in my next video Thank you.